Tell me, how does this sound? Passive income, no overhead costs, no inventory costs, no startup fees, no costs of goods sold, no shipping charges, and sell internationally with ease? Does it sound too good to be true? Well, guess what? It's not. That's called selling digital products. Not only that, but there are a ton of different digital products that you could make and sell to make extra money online. Keep watching because I'm going to give you over 20 different digital product ideas that you can start making today and sell to make money. Don't worry, there'll be something for everyone. Whether you're looking for a side hustle, a way to diversify your income, or looking to replace your nine to five, you really can't go wrong with digital products. Whether or not you're artistic, or maybe you're good with numbers, or maybe you just have something that you want to teach other people. No matter what, there are digital products out there for you to make and sell. Oftentimes, the hardest part is coming up with the ideas, but lucky for you, you don't have to because I've done it all for you. Let me start with the most obvious one if you've been following this series, and that is digital planners, journals, and stickers. These are huge on Etsy right now, and there's an endless supply of planners, templates, widgets, and stickers out there. However, that doesn't mean that you can't be successful in creating and selling your own digital planners, journals, and stickers. In the next two episodes, I'll be going into more detail on how to actually create these planners and stickers. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, and that way you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Now let's get into the rest of the list. Number two, printable planners and journals. Now I know this probably sounds the same as the digital planners and journals. However, they are much easier to create. You're only creating the actual pages that your customer can download and print. You're not having to create all the very many hyperlinks that go along with digital planners and journals. You can create these in different sizes so that customers can print them and insert them in their current planner or create a new planner out of a three ring binder. Number three is printable art. If you have an artistic side and you are good at drawing or creating digital graphics, you can create pieces of digital artwork and sell these to your customers as instant downloads that they can then print out themselves and frame or send to a company to have printed. Number four is printable greeting cards, and these can be so much fun to make. I've actually purchased quite a few of these for friends and family. They're a great way to find some unique cards that you can't really find in stores. Also, you can offer customization options so that customers can personalize them. Not only do they love them, but they are willing to pay more money for them. You can do this by creating them in Canva and supplying them with an editable Canva file. Number five is templates. Some people are organized and some people really are not. Some need a little bit of help in that category. So if you actually are the organized person yourself, then creating templates for project management uh, programs like ClickUp, Asana, or Notion might be a good fit for a digital product for you to create. Number six on the list is fonts. Now I have to admit that when it comes to creating fonts, I'm pretty clueless. However, I have purchased quite a few fonts myself for my businesses. Small business owners and creators are always looking for fonts that can set them apart from other businesses. You know, that uh, a perfect font that says exactly what your business is about, even if the words you're saying are gibberish. Number seven is SVG cut files. These are files that can be used with cutting machines like crickets and silhouettes. They can be used for cutting things like fabric, paper, or vinyl. They can be complex with many, many layers or quite simple. Number eight is eBooks. If you have something you wanna teach or talk about and you prefer the art of word as opposed to you know video or graphics, then this might be the perfect solution for you. Whether you just wanna write 
a guide on how to do something or whether you really enjoy storytelling, ebooks might be the right choice for you. Now there are a lot of subcategories to this, so if it seems like something that you might be interested in, I would do a little more research on this type of digital product. Number nine on the list is courses. Believe it or not, you can actually create courses and sell them on Etsy. You don't have to create a full-blown huge course with a membership and hire all kinds of employees. You can create smaller, bite-sized, more niche courses and sell them right on Etsy with things like links to videos, workbooks, and step-by-step -step instruction guides. So if there's something that you're really good at and you're looking to want to teach and maybe you don't want to start a YouTube channel, this might be a good fit for you. Number 10 on the list is photographs. Are you great at taking photos or maybe it's just a hobby that you're interested in and you do on the side? From landscapes to animals, you can sell these photos online as a digital download that people can print, but also you can sell them online to people to use as b-roll and mock-ups there's really a lot that you could do with this category so if there's something you're interested in i would definitely do some more research on this because there's a lot of possibilities out there if you're good at taking pictures number 11 is patterns from sewing to needlepoint to cross stitch there's tons of patterns that you could create and sell online the best part is they actually have programs out there that you just upload an image and it creates the pattern for you. And then you can just download that pattern onto Etsy and sell it as is. It is actually so easy that it almost feels like cheating. Number 12, graphic packs and or digital paper. If you're good at graphic design and you love to draw and create your own graphics, but you're not really sure what else you can do with them besides just selling digital art online, you can create digital graphic packs that people can purchase and use towards their own finished product. But you can also offer a commercial license, which will allow people to purchase the graphics and use in their own finished products that they will then be allowed to go on and sell. It is a great way to get that next added little boost to the price. Number 13 on the list is brush packs. Procreate is huge right now. People absolutely love this program for creating hand-drawn digital graphics. And while yes, it seems that Procreate has quite a large number of brushes, before you know it, you'll be wanting more and more of those brushes. Trust me, people spend a lot of money on them. And you wouldn't believe, but they're actually pretty easy to make. If it sounds like something you might be interested in doing, there are tons of tutorials online showing you exactly how to create these brushes. Number 14 is presets and LUTs. Presets are custom looks applied to photo editing software. A LUT can be part of a preset and it is a lookup program that your editing software can use to color grade your videos or images. These are intended to make your editing easier and quicker and also give you a cohesive look with all of your video footage or photographs. So if you're good with editing programs, then this might actually be a pretty good fit for you. Number 15 is social media templates. Social media templates are things like pre-made graphics or video files that can be edited and used in things like Instagram Reels or Stories or pins on Pinterest. These graphics are typically branded, visually appealing, and usually include some type of photo or digital graphic. They're considered templates because the content within the social media graphic is meant to be able to be updated easily while keeping the same format, allowing brand and or campaign consistency. Number 16 is spreadsheets. Some spreadsheets that you can make are wedding planners, bookkeeping templates, habit trackers, cleaning checklists, personal budgeting templates, debt payoff trackers, and so, so many more. If you're good with Excel or Google Sheets, this one might be right up your alley. Number 17 is printable and editable invitations. Much like the greeting cards I mentioned earlier in this list, 
you can create beautiful invitations that are completely customizable for your customers to do on their own. The nice thing about this is that you don't have to worry about expensive printers or printing mistakes. You also don't have to worry about making any customizations yourself. While you can create invitations for any party or event, wedding invitations are a great option. And that's simply because there's so many more things than just the wedding invitation themselves, like save the dates and RSVPs. You can create a group of these things with the same theme and sell them as a bundle to get more bang for your buck. Number 18 on the list is printable planner stickers. Now these are very similar to the digital planner stickers, however, formatted completely differently. You should offer these not only as PDFs, but also formatted printable files that are made specifically for the two most popular cutting machines, and that would be Cricut and Silhouette. They each have their own programs, so you would have to format it to each. However, this makes it super convenient for your customer because they can just download the file, bring it into their program, and now they can just print and cut it right away without having to figure anything out or do anything themselves. Number 19 is coloring book pages. Now, these can be so much fun to make, especially if you're an artistic person. But even if you're not an artistic person, with programs like Procreate, it's really very easy to make them. And you're only worried about the outlines, you're not worrying about any coloring. You can draw something super simple for kids or you can draw something more complex for adults to use. You can sell them as individual pages, or you can sell them as bundles or whole books. Number 20 is resume templates. Job searching is super stressful, and people are usually looking for a way to take some of the stress out of the process. Resumes are the perfect way to do this. And if you've worked in say management or HR and you're familiar with what people look for in resumes, this might be a good option for you. Number 21 on the list is contract templates. Many people might want to create small contracts without paying large lawyer fees. If you have some expertise in documents like these, then you can totally create easy templates that are fully editable by your customer, where they just fill in the spots that they need to fill in. Some examples of these contracts might be housing rental agreements, influencer contracts, service agreements, employment contracts, and so many more. If for some reason you didn't hear something on the list today that piqued your interest, please don't give up hope yet. It's really just the tip of the iceberg. So keep thinking, think about maybe something that you're good at, something that you're knowledgeable in, maybe something that people you know seek you out to get your advice on. There's really so many other options out there. And if you can think of something that you think would be good that I didn't mention today, please leave it in the comments because it could really help out somebody else possibly that's struggling with trying to figure out what their digital product is going to be. In the next two episodes, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm creating my planners and stickers for my new digital Etsy shop. Even if you're not planning on creating the same type of items, there's still a lot that you can get from those videos. But if not, and you want to skip to episode five, where we're going to start creating our photos and videos for our new listings in preparation for opening our new shop. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. <music>